Hello and welcome back everybody. We're looking at Best Village on modhub.us. It was posted by a bot so I can't confirm the original location or any of that kind of stuff. So if you have any information on it, be sure to post it in the comments of the video so that way everybody can know. There was a comment on modhub.us how the map was, um, I'll just use the word not good. And I don't decide that. I'll let you decide it. I'll show you what you get. Give you my opinion. I like when other people comes in. They say, well, it's not really what I would like to play or something like that. Because, I mean, literally, if you say, I prefer to do big maps and 9Rs, it's just a way of saying that you don't like their maps. And it's, it doesn't have to come out as a negative. You can turn it and put your own uh, positive talk on it. Maybe even tell what you do like. And maybe somebody can do you a map for that. Who knows? Anyway, let's dive in. Okay, so I disabled everything. And I don't usually do this, but I want to know why this map is not any good. So I'm just going to kind of take a little, I don't know what I'm doing, peek. I don't see no, nothing coming up really. It is a small map. I've got no issue with small maps. Some of my favorite maps in this game is small. It's perfectly fine. You do already own most of it to start with. Um, I guess for me and my style, I kind of like going as small as possible and going from there. I'd rather have something like Mayfield 5. You know, but it's, it's, see, it's simple. You just, there is no house on it. So, I mean, it says you just got to get rid of your objects and then just move. And it's fine. So see, it's, it's really no use to complain about it. So anyway, there is, um, there's your grain mill, animal dealer, sawmill, lime station, a little bit of everything. You got a couple places to sell your crops, including spinnering. You got your barn items. money spot on you don't start off with any animals you do have jobs you know i don't even know how to make a map i'm wanting to learn how uh kaz that builds multi-fruit maps is going to try to help build me my own and to me this person's way ahead of me so i respect the modders a lot i don't care if i like their maps or not it's still great work they like it they put it out somebody else is going to like it so you know it's that way for every map there is this is one of my tractors I always pick when I start off early gameplay because you can attach the front lift on it to be able to start uh, working with your animals and stuff. I like this trailer. I don't like the swivel trailers. So everything's spot on to me. It don't have a house, but it's a small map, so who cares? I mean, you could drop a trailer on it or something. Some with sleep timer. They're all over modhub.us. Um, as far as the actual courtyard stuff it's pretty basic stuff so you know you got a great big silo over here you got a place to put a few items you don't really need a few items and if you're going to do like um you know animal placements and stuff like that looks like you got more enough land to do that um, it kind of represents farming more like I said, you own two. If you don't want to, then start off two. Say so he has traffic. And you know, that's not a, a easy task to add traffic and, and to get it right and all that kind of stuff. And, but I mean, everything seems to be placed properly. It isn't one single row type of tree going in a straight line, perfectly straight, like you just laid a ruler down there and put it in line. It's different sizes, scattered out, has a really natural feel. You got you some back roads, and since I like to start off small and combine fields and stuff, I mean, look at this. Every one of these fields right here can be combined. Every single one of them. Except for over here, but you combine them on this side. And you got a little four section. Did use the same tree, but, I mean, who cares? And, uh, right here. You can combine all this. Your road isn't just in it. It's going into the side of a mountain. 
I did see a store icon up in the hills over here. If I remember right, I'm going to go around and look and see if I can find that. Yeah, right here. I haven't bought a vehicle here. Don't know how big of a deal it would be to move at. So this is about the only thing I've seen thus far out of place. But, you know, as a, you know, don't buy or don't download this map deal. I don't feel that at all. Your surrounding of your map area is all hidden and it looks natural. It's not just some continual posting of a single thing or trying to create this fake wall. They actually, if you look all the way around this map, it's just slight elevations and changes in hills and trees and has a very natural feel to it. Lands are a little uh, flat until you get over here. So you do have some rise and fall for a little natural to it. All your cell points is over here. It's not just one building, it's several buildings. So I mean, you know, to me they put in the effort. It's a small map play if you're in the small maps. I've got no issues with this map at all. I kind of like it myself. It's um, exactly my style of play. So see, just because uh, some people might not be your cup of tea, it may be for others. So that's so why I just don't usually bust on people's stuff. Just because it ain't something that I don't like, don't mean it won't be for somebody else. Let's buy a vehicle, see where it shows up at. Might as well get my other favorite tractor to start off with. Well, let's lace it. Let's see where it pops up. Okay, so it's that store. So other than the icon being off a little bit, it's not a big thing. Here's your store icon and your sale. So all good. I don't see a repair symbol, but it's not like we can't add that to the map. I'm not going to spend too long on this map because it is kind of small, but you can see you got your wood chip sales. I assume all that works all right. I haven't tested any of this, but I mean, I'll see if it's listed. It is listed. So I mean, even though it doesn't show you a painted trigger, kind of like with the greenhouses and stuff like that, just because it ain't there don't mean it isn't. But I mean, y'all could check it and then let me know. I may play this map a little bit just for the fun of it, just because it is type of map that I like to play. If nothing else, just to kind of test it out and be a little more informed about it. So later on, I can, I can share that knowledge with somebody of uh, issues or whatever that I may have. It's a uh, early ways, other than maybe the title, because it says Best Village or whatever it was. I mean, it's kind of small, which that would be fine, but is it the best? Eh, I don't know. I think it's cute. I like it. It's got life to it. I like it, but best? I don't know. I don't know if I, if I could pl place it in is the best map there is, but... You can definitely list it as a very nice, very nice village. How's that? <laughs> so, but don't be hating. I'm not either. Y'all little pond over here. It's nice. So I mean, it's pleasant. You know, I'm definitely not going to knock your work. Don't see no reason to. So with that, everybody like, share. Please <laughs> subscribe. That's all helps my family. And uh, I like your map. And uh, everybody have fun.